Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I am currently sitting in a little bit of butterflies, but I'm, I'm pretty excited. I am going to be rescuing slash adopting a dog. I'm pretty nervous um, because, okay, so let me tell you the whole story. <laughs> I have wanted a golden retriever for a very long time. Um, I've always loved golden retrievers and their temperaments. They're so super sweet, and I think they're great dogs. I didn't. I wasn't very educated. I thought that there were such thing as black golden retrievers. Turns out there's not. There's only flat retrievers or mixes. Um, and I came across this lady who had puppies, and it was for border collie golden retriever mixes, and. I just saw their faces and I I couldn't. I was just like, I feel like that's that's my dog. I feel like that. And um, so here we are. She said um, I had to come today because her husband is wanting to auction them off. And I think this must be like a farm area because I don't know. Like, and I, I'm just not that well versed in farm things, but I'm guessing that that's what you do if you have a dog and they've had puppies for they've had the puppies for a little bit now so i'm wondering if just because they're not selling they've decided that they're gonna auction them off um and there's nothing bad with that like i don't that's not a bad thing um i just i really like the girl i kind of felt a connection with her over the phone like on the picture of the phone and i i don't know something makes me feel happy to be able to give her a home instead of her just being auctioned off as a farm dog and i don't get me wrong, Border Collies are great farm dogs. I think that's where they thrive. But I think that the Golden Retriever and her might also thrive from a home environment with other dogs. And I only had to drive an hour and 40 minutes, which is kind of short compared to all my other drives I've been doing recently. I need to buy her a bed, but I didn't. So I just brought her like this sheet. And I'll show you guys. It's kind of lame. It's, it's probably better than her sitting on the seat. I just put this little sheet down and I think I'm going to have her sit there with her potty pads because they're bringing her pads. Um, I w yeah, I don't want her with the seat. I think that's going to be hard, scary for her. Um, the pictures that I had seen earlier, I think that they were them, were her when she was really little. I have a feeling she's going to be big and I'm a little scared. I'm honestly really scared actually. Um, <laughs> I also, I'm not going to videotape their faces or anything, so I'll just come back when I have the dog. The lady said she would take any donation, so I offered her $45, which I kind of felt bad for. I was like, that's kind of low, but it's all I had in cash at the time. And she's like, no, that's great. But I'm going to make sure this girl has a good home. So, and she still needs to get, I'm pretty sure I need to ask about, I think she needs all of her shots still. So I need to ask all those questions about the shots and everything like that. I think she was honestly getting annoyed with me because I was asking so many questions. She probably was. Anyways, guys, I'm just rambling at this point because I'm very, very excited. I'll see you guys when I have a puppy. I think Daniel and I, Daniel's my husband, by the way. I think Daniel and I have... We have three options, Inky, Raven, or Storm, but I think I vote Raven, and he likes Raven too. Um, obviously, once you meet her too, then we'll know, but okay, I'm like everywhere. So excited. Okay. Here she is. She's so, I think she's confused, but she's so sweet. <laughs> Apparently, they said she's the one who really wants to be with everyone. She's drooling, though. I think she's stressed. Jean, poor baby. She, I just put her, I think she's gonna sit there because I put her there and she just fell there. Like, not fell, but she like totally laid. I don't know if she wants to lay down there. So, you could stay there, babies. Hi. They named her princess. She's hooking up a lot. She's so sleepy too. Hey. She's, <laughs> she's drooling everywhere. So, I guess I forgot to record this part, but... After getting the dog, I showed the picture to my husband and he's like, by the way, I hate the name Raven. It reminds him of like Teen Titans or something. And I didn't really, wasn't really fond of the name Inky. So at that point we were just kind of, I was trying to figure out names for her and my husband was like researching names for dogs. Yeah. <laughs> also in this time we drove home. I mean, me and the puppy. It's hard to see, but we're home in the garage. Hi, mamas. I was trying to think of a name for her, and I really can't do it. We're just going to take the time. She's so, she's so scared. She's like, what is happening? We have to bring her inside, and the dog's going to be like, ah! I'm just kidding. They might not screech, but they're not going to be very happy. I'm sorry, this is such an unflattering. <laughs> Let's bring her in. I'm so excited. The boys see her, and they just... 
staring at her, confused. <laughs> sweet pea! Hello, sweet pea! You are so cute. You have no business being this darn cute. Hello! Hello, love! Come here, sweet girl! <laughs> she, she like wags her tail, but she's scared. You need some water, girly girl. I should probably introduce you to the dogs then. So I think I saw that didn't really go so well. I mean, I didn't show all the footage because she was not having it. But I think it was good for my dog. So I wanted to give my dogs a chance to smell her where there couldn't be actually any interaction yet and so then after that I took oh well, she was already outside I took her outside and I took my dogs outside on a leash and I would just walk the dogs around in the backyard like far away from her and then slowly kind of get closer to her we were still weren't very close we we're still like six feet away I didn't want to scare her but just to let her know that there are other dogs in the house and to like see them and a couple of times she ran up to us like I think with each dog she ran up to us and sniffed them on her own I think that was helpful for her because even though she wasn't comfortable yet because it's her only her first day um and probably I did something wrong like I know someone might be commenting on the below like that's not how you're supposed to do that but spoiler alert it worked out totally fine and I'm actually glad I did it this way because towards the end of the day they they were totally fine. So I was really glad that I introduced them earlier in the day. And I think we're gonna call her Whisper. Whisper, Whisper. Her belly seems so big. I don't know if it's because she's growing or because something's going on. So I need to get her in the bed. I hope she's okay. No Whisper. She took so long to come into the house, but here she is. Look at the tweet. Look at the tweet tweet. She's so cute. She really needs a bed though, and look, she's already gotten into mischief. She started digging in the sand. All right, it's about like 5.15 p.m. I wasn't gonna wash her today, but I think I'm gonna do it anyways, because she, one, she smells like farm, but then there's just nothing wrong with that, but she just peed outside and sat in her pee, so I think it's time. She was napping with me on the bed, which was so sweet. I had to work her up because she was like in this deep sleep, and I needed to get her up to take a shower. And not shower, but bath. The door's wide open, she doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't get it yet. I know I washed her weird. I ordered this little spa thing that would help with the washing, but it has not come yet, so I felt sad, but at least she got something. And I need to buy her a brush because her hair is so shaggy. Anyways, she's cold, so I'm gonna go snuggle with her on the couch. I'm gonna go play snuggle. I need to clean the bathtub first. It's stinky in there. It has farm dirt. She's crying. I couldn't find her. And I look in the closet and I see this. I think she's telling me something. She says, I'm hungry. I need to get a bowl for her. I'm so excited. This is the only bowl I have for her, which I feel so sad. It's not even a bowl. Okay. Um, it's the next morning. She slept with me all night. She's such a sweet girl. She didn't go potty on the bed. And she was so excited. So excited. <clears throat> to say hello. Hello, Whisper. Hello, Whisper. No, I don't know what my voice is doing. Farm dogs must, like, they must have something special. <laughs> She's so sweet.
I went to Ross. I picked her up some things. So I got her this bed. It's so soft. I was gonna get. I mean, this one was more the more expensive one was twenty, but I love the way it felt, and I was like, this is. She can have that. I hope she's. She hasn't had an accident in her crate yet, so I'm just gonna hope she doesn't do it. And I can't put the puppy pads in there because she rips them up. Anyways, I got this from Walmart. It was like a dollar. And I just got this one from Ross. It's just a little cute frog toy. It's so cute. And I got this blanket for over the crate. I wish the blanket was a little longer, but it's so it's, it's so soft. I almost want it to be her blanket in there, but it's okay. You've been such a good girl in the crate. <laughs> she, she looks so mad. She's like, well, you had me in the crate. I had no choice. I had to be in the crate. You're free. You're free, puppy. She's so timid in the house. It's so funny because, like, you take her outside. She turns into, like, a different dog. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Whisper. <laughs> You're so cute. I cannot. Are you posing for the picture right now? You... Yes, mamas know she's so cute. That's your froggy. Is that your frog? Is that your froggy? That's your frog. Look, he makes noises. I'm trying to get her to come out, but she's scared. <laughs> she, she doesn't even like to come. Like, if we're outside, if we say come, she comes. But if you're inside, she's too scared to come. <clears throat> come here, Whisper. Something you have to work on. Hey, everyone. So, first of all, I just want to apologize for this vlog because I feel like it's. It is very much all over the place. I did not plan out anything. I honestly did not even know if I was going to get this puppy. But I was going to, like, do a whole thing of, like, me shopping for her stuff but that kind of didn't happen because i had kimchi when i was at the store and i was like oh i'm not gonna be just sitting around i need to get this stuff now and go she hasn't gone potty in the house yet i noticed she needed to go so then i brought her out but she's never had like a full accident in the house so i mean not never it's in two days too but she's so sweet i'm also a little worried about her um i have a vet appointment scheduled for thursday this week because that's in like four days or no it's in three days from now because I'm a little worried. I, she's really sleepy and I'm like, this better not be part of us. <laughs> and she's eating fine, drinking fine, going potty fine. So I'm like, maybe she's just super tired, but I don't know. I'm always scared that puppies have part of us. So she hasn't had any of her shots. So I'm praying that's not what it is. I don't know. I feel like green's gonna be her color. I was gonna try to make it blue or pink, but I feel like green's gonna be the color because I keep finding green things, okay? And then a different day I had gotten her this and I'm like, what are the odds? I'm picking green stuff out for her. I might have pink or green. Or maybe pink and green. Who knows? Morning, it is the third day. Today I'm trying. I'm going to work on some training with her. Because she seems a little bit more comfortable. But to begin with, someone gave us this harness. And it fits her for now. So I've been trying to train her with it on. She doesn't want to move. Well, she does. She moves on her own. But if I'm like, come here, come here. Come here, Whisper. Oh, here. Never mind. She's doing it now. But... I just put it on like 30 minutes ago and she she was not. This morning, she went through the dog door all on her own and went potty all on her own and came back inside. I was so proud of her, so she did that. She was panting really hard last night. She was sleeping on the bed with me and I was like, either she's hot or she's like anxious or something else is going on. Um, so I first turned on the fan and that helped for a little bit. But then I woke up and she was under the bed. She is in love with, I don't know what it is with under the bed, but all of my dogs love being under that bed. And I don't know what it is. So when she did that, I just put her in her crate because I'm like, I don't know, maybe she just wants a dark place or something. I mean, she was sleeping on the bed, but she's just, she seemed like much more comfortable in the crate. She was out here with Axel and Axel's her little buddy because they play. Kimchi, we're working on it. He, he's a bit, bit of a grump, huh? He's a grump, but um, she loves Axel. Axel is just in some time out because he has been digging in the sand pot and he knows he has not dug in there since we moved in because he learned that we don't do that, but he has decided that he's gonna do that again. And I'm like, mm, mm -mm. 
you know, especially not with a new puppy here. So I am gonna go to Lowe's tomorrow and I'm gonna pick up some bricks and some sand and I am going to cover that thing because I don't think I can tell you guys not to do it because you guys seem obsessed, absolutely obsessed with digging. I mean, I know you shouldn't really let pets mouth on you, but such a cute sign that she feels more comfortable. And also, last night she was jumping on me, which... I can't believe I got that on video. She's so sweet. She's never tried to actually get into my lap before. surprised that Kimchi decided to play. Kimchi, come on the come on the bed. Come on the couch. You can't get up there yet, so that's a safe place for you. It's a safe place for now. <laughs> on the couch. Oh no, Kimchi. Oh no. She got on. Her. He is trying so hard to have self control. He's trying so hard, but he does not want you on here. He does not. He said that you were not supposed to come up on here and now I'm mad. No, no. Girly, girly girl, he's gonna be mad. I have to pick you up. Come here. He says, well, mama, I didn't buy her. I just told her no. I said no. Okay, no, earlier today, he got under the couch. He got under the couch. I was so surprised and he like had a contort his body in a special way to get out of it and I was like how did you do that whisper her teeth are razor sharp I she's already poked holes in my pants that's how sharp they are Okay guys, I think that's going to be the end of this little vlog. I'm sorry I was so patchy, but uh, some, of, some of the, like I, I wanted to vlog a lot, but then also, hold on, I heard some advice to film with your back camera, so I'm doing it now. Um, I also wanted to make sure I experienced it and also spent time like with her, and I did a lot of that. I spent more time with her than I was spent videotaping, which I kind of wish I did a little bit more, but um, I did want to show you guys um, some of the tricks she's learned so I guess we'll end the video with that but um, also stay tuned for like a day in my life in a day in the life of my puppy because I'm planning on doing that with a whisper and also all these tricks she learned yesterday so let's see we'll see if you know she still remembers them ready for your training session she says yeah ready so <laughs> put this over here come good sit good eyes good whisper <laughs> good yes you're a smart baby you're a smart little baby whisper sit good down That's a good girl. That's a good girl. You're so smart. You're such a smart girl. You're so smart. Kiss it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.